Volton Ivy, a living organism impervious to any munition in the known universe. You'll have to find a way to scare it. in the known universe. You'll have to find a way to scare it. Bravo, Ratchet, bravo! Go on ahead, I'll find another way around. We have a problem. The wench crank for that mining platform is right next to a tetramite nest. We're too close to turn back now. Got any more of those flares? Be careful down there. Bombs away! Did it, Ratchet! Well done! Come on! The Obsidian Eyes right this way! You realize that we are just hours away from reversing the greatest tragedy in the history of the universe! Your mother, your father! They'll both be right here, safe and sound! You really think the clock can save them? <laughs> of course! And that's what it was built for! Come on! may not be able to get a signal. Stand by for system uplink. Clank! Ratchet, how did you find me? Are you kidding me? You think I'd leave my best pal out here alone? Who is that behind you? Is that a Lombax? Yeah, this is General Azimuth. He's been helping me look for you. Just send me your coordinates and we'll pick you up. Signal integrity, 33%. Ratchet, I need your help. Orvis is in trouble. You must go to Xenophar and confront Dr. Nefarious. Xenophar? Dr. Nefarious hasn't set foot on that rock since his station was completed two years ago. Then that is when you must confront him. Head to the Tomley outpost and look for a time portal. Please, save my father. Father? What's going on? <laughs> you cannot hide in the broom closet forever, Sigmund. Orvis needs our help. Now, can you synthesize a time portal on Xenophar? 
I suppose I could use the oscilloscopic entanglement modulator to create a vacuum of negative energy, theoretically creating a traversable wormhole. Time rift stabilized. Ta-da! My nav unit's correct. Our ships are right on the other side of this wall. There's something I haven't told you about the clock. If we succeed, if we turn back time and stop Tachyon, the present as you know it will no longer exist. You mean I won't remember Clank? I mean, you will never have met him in the first place. The clock may offer some kind of temporal immunity for those who use it, but there are no guarantees. This is my only chance to save my family. I have to take it. Good. Now don't be alarmed, but I just picked up Forcelon's signature not far from our location. I'll distract him while you head to the outpost. And remember, if Orvis is alive, it's imperative that you get the clock's location from him. Good luck.
found it. Thanks, outsider. Looks like you earned yourself a reward. Here you go. Can you believe that no good move on this one? So happy to see an outsider. Please, you must help. My ship's battery bots went on strike. Can you help me get to the depot? I'll pay you in bolts. Thank you, outsider. Standing by for terror deployment. Mm-hmm. 
If you find yourself overwhelmed by enemies, the Groovatron is the perfect tool for tipping the scales back in your favor. Simply throw one into a large crowd, and the Groovatron will emit a mesmerizing tune, which triggers fits of uncontrollable dancing. This will give you extra time to replenish your ammo, make your escape, or deliver a crushing blow to your would-be dispatches using the incendiary weapon of your choice. The Groovatron Glove, available only at Grummelnet. I'm Ratchet. <laughs> That's a silly name. What? You folks lose a bet? Kidding! I'm Mac. You have to excuse the hologram. Folks around here have a tendency to throw things. Take a look around. If you need anything, Max, your guy. Ooh. Ah, you noticed that, huh? The Agorians may be strong, but they're a bit shortchanged in the brain department. So they hired us to do their thinking for them. You got something to prove, huh? You got Moxie, kid, I like that. Head over to the Gladiator entrance. My blaster runs hot. The game. One player. Two players. One player. Let's do this. I don't mean to break character, but is there a pub around here? Hop, hop, hop! 